Hey guys, I uh, hope you're all doing well, um, staying safe and healthy in this time of school closure. Uh, I want to make a quick video just to check in. Um, first and foremost, to say, hope you're doing well. And second thing, just to give you a little direction on where we're going with research projects and things, um, kind of getting direction from the school to um, push things forward. So I'll make a quick little video of here's how we're going to try to continue to do our research um, and that sort of thing. So. First off, we're going to try to be working with taking our notes, uh, finishing the note that we have um, for our given subjects. Most people have um, their topics chosen and things. So here's my, my suggestions to you all. Um, first off, uh, as you guys are looking for your sources, remember that you're going to need four sources total, um, two database sources and two internet sources. Um, and I would say make these good you know we're, we're trying to answer questions we're trying to truly identify um, and understand an issue in the, the modern world so um, take your time and, and look for them we have time to look for them over the next two weeks so um, do your best and when you find a source you know really evaluate it on these three criteria does it help you answer your research question does it give you relevant background information which is a part of your paper that you're going to have to write or does it provide insight on any of these perspectives that you've identified um, and so my suggestion would be find your sources first before you start taking notes. Um, make sure that your all those bases are covered because you're going to have to write background information, one side, other side, and then your side. So I would look for those all first and then start taking notes. Um, some problems that I've seen in the past are students find one source and spend all their time looking at it, and then they get to writing their paper and they realize their other sources are weak um, or maybe they don't have all the perspectives all the information they need to really represent those different perspectives. So find your sources, take those notes, read through them, copy paste, use that note chart. I'll show you here in a second. And then once you're done with those four sources, go back. And if you need to find more sources, if you find holes in your argument, or if you're realizing that one of your sources isn't holding up as well as you thought, then go out and find more. Um, remember four is the minimum. You can always have more. Um, and then remember for each source, sorry, my cat is annoying. Um, for each source, we're going to have to, write an objective summary, um, do a source evaluation using those criteria that we looked at, authority, currency, accuracy, and perspective. And then we're going to create some full and in-text citations. Um, I will be making videos about those other three, the summaries, evaluations, and citations. So right now we're just working on finding sources and taking notes. Um, to use our databases, here's how, what we've got. Um, so you can pause this screen, write these down. I also have them posted on my website. Here's how you're going to access the databases from wherever you are. Uh, and it does require these logins, but you've got to have those now. And I'll show you where you can access them. It should be pretty easy, actually. So on mrsdad.com, you look at research projects and research resources. Um, I have these links over here. The two that I'm going to really recommend you use are EBSCOhost and Issues and Controversies. And so if we open this up, you're going to notice, oh, you got to log in. Well, that's OK, because you can just copy these guys in here. A little weird, so I'd recommend copying and pasting it. This work, and there we go. I'm at home and I'm logged into our databases. Um, should be just fine. And then issues and controversies should work the same way if it gets loaded up here. And I'm already logged in, but I just used the um, senior and student password for issues and controversies to access this. Um, don't forget that you should be using your note chart. If you look at classwork, research note chart. Um, Copy and paste your information into here, into Google Classroom. Make sure you're grabbing that correct information, like the permalink or the URL, so you can get back and find your source later. Don't worry about the full citation or in-text citation. Um, that'll come in the next couple of days or probably next week. So if you have any questions, be sure to email me. Um, I'm going to be around and answering emails, making more videos, and posting up on my blog. So good luck, folks.